Welcome back to the Bush Bee Man. Here we go again. Today, I don't know if you remember, but the Cirrusel boys over there in New Zealand, they sent us some of this sample stuff. They sent us some feeders, which we're going to have a bit of a look at when we go out there and check out what they did. They worked really well. They've also sent me this really cool idea of having honeycomb. So to actually make circular honeycomb that we can ship. This is, um, oh, well, there's a few different versions of this, but this is theirs. So we thought today, being that spring is about to spring, no, spring is about to sprung, be sprung. Spring is springing, no. Wonder what spring would be. Spring is doing something anyway. It's turned up, apparently it's officially spring. Now I'm assuming if a bloke had more time, he should have probably painted this woodwork, but it's kind of nicely done. I was thinking a bloke should paint that a different color so you can sort of see where they are, but we haven't got around to painting it yet, so apologies to the Cirrusel folk that we haven't painted your wood, but it looks pretty fucking cool so far. So we'll go in, I think we might, well, well, go over here and make a spot on the bench, put our wax in, and then we'll go for a little drive and see what the girls reckon. Good to see a bloke's got a nice tidy workbench. There's me paint washing pot, get that out of the way. Hurry, look, Mr. Windex, that's still out here from when we made the observation hive. The wife was having a go, wondering where the hell the Windex went the other day, which was seeing the shed, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I did buy her some more Windex. Oh, I'm talking about my wife. All right, hang on, hold that thought, stay there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, my lovely wife, who's adorable. It's been Father's Day here just the other day, so technically I'm not her father, so don't write in and think I'm a weirdo. So, no, I'm, only, only, I'm the father of her children. I'd be the father of her own children, one would hope. But anyway, she bought me this card, which she bought me this present. As you would remember, not so long ago, I was trying to find her drill, and I think she was watching that and thought, oh, I better get him his own drill. She wrote me this really lovely card, which I think I'm going to read to you because after this episode, when I actually explain what's happened to the other drill, she might write me a different card. But anyway, have a look at this. How cool is that? She actually got me a Father's Day card and it says, For a wonderful husband on Father's Day, sometimes life is so busy that it's crazy. No, sorry. It is crazy, but it doesn't say that because my eyes are blurry. Sometimes life is so busy that it's easy to forget to tell the one you love the most how special they are. Oh, look at that. There's even a little love heart. Little cuties. Oh, yes. Oh, she's so cute. Anyway, she just goes on to say what a wonderful man I am, a.k.a. the Bush Bee Man. So even, even my wife's turned into a fan, so I reckon that's pretty groovy. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I was just smitten by that part because... The fact that she still loves me is pretty amazing. <laughs> Bloody hell, I tell you what. She's a good woman. But what I wanted to show you was... <laughs> oh, she bought me this. So this is, this is the drill that I normally borrow down here in this box. This is the normal borrowed drill. And this is her drill. And as you can see, the other day I was out here painting the boxes with pink primer. And it got just a little splattered. It's not terrible, it's not over bad. This side is clean. So I'm wondering whether if I gave it back to her like that, she might not notice. What do you reckon? But um, this is the dilemma of blokes in. So in this box is a brand new one. Which would be quite cool. That's a little handheld screwdriver. She even got me a spare battery so I can't steal her extra battery. What a good woman. And in this box is that drill, I think. By the look of it. Looks like that drill. So the problem I have is, do you suppose I'm thinking of taking my new drill out of this box and giving it back to her so she doesn't know that her drill's covered in paint? That's my plan, anyway. The thing is, normally this would be done very stealthily and no one would know, but now she's, she's actually watching this show, she gets to see what mischief actually happens. So who knows what the next Father's Day card, <laughs> the next Father's Day card is going to say. God grief. Well, that's got a cool little bag in here. I didn't know I had a little carry bag. Ta-da! Look off. Oh, oh. I'm a, I am, I, look at that, I'd be a proper bloody workman. Or tradesman. I'd be a proper tradesman for that. I wonder if that's how you walk into the trade thing. Hello, hello. Mind me, I've got my drill. I'm pretty sure they don't talk like that. That's just, 
Oh no, that's the, is that a spare, there's, there's two batteries in here already for, what's that? That must be the battery for that. <sighs> what? Don't tell me they, don't that shit you off, they could just make them all the same. Hang on now, what does that say? 18 LR. Now I'm in trouble folks, it doesn't quite look the same. Hers has got a cool black handle, and this has got green. Do you reckon she'll remember? Do you reckon she'll remember that it's a different looking drill? And it's got silver and this has got black. I think I'm in trouble. This is slightly different to that. This is actually, oh, I think hers is better. <laughs> so now I'm really, oh my God. I thought they were gonna be the same, but they're actually different. Fuck, now what do we do? I have a solution for everybody out there. I'll just keep them both. <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh, fucking hell. Do you reckon we can get the paint off here instead? Fuck. I had a great plan. I thought that would be great. I'll just give her, her, give her my new drill back and she'll never know I got her as covered in shit. But now it's different. <laughs> You're fucked, Dad. No, oh, probably not tonight. I thought this was a good plan. She gave me this present and I thought, awesome! It's a get out of jail free card. Now it's a, I'm still in the bloody jail. Fuck me. Oh. So, we thought we'd get organised, put some wax in our little um, honeycomb juices. I thought these were kind of cool. Uh, like I said, there's a several different versions of this you can get. That, um, I saw one, I think that's uh, an American one though, and that's sort of actually sealed little squares and you just pull it apart and that's kind of groovy. So, but I thought this might be awesome. This, I don't know, I thought this was kind of cool because it's round. Yeah. Not, what's that when it's round? Is, is that a spherical? How do you say that? Spherical. Spherical. No. Sin no, that's wrong too. <sighs> Sorry, my English teachers. Fuck. Shut up. Anyway, they just joined together. I thought this was kind of a cool idea that they've got. So they've got a back which sits against each other. So if you've got one of these, remember to put them together properly. Otherwise, you'll just end up with a bloody tunnel. <laughs> you'll end up with a tunnel of honeycomb. Well, that'd be bloody messy, wouldn't it? Then you'd have to, then you'd have to have like, would you like, would you like a cylinder of honeycomb? You do, know, fucking long like that. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I was <laughs> just wondering whether the Cerocell folk will ever send us another sample of anything. Hopefully they do, because it's a pretty cool product. So, uh, across the ditch, isn't that what they say? Over there in New Zealand, they're across the ditch. I'm not exactly sure what the ditch is, but I suppose it's that big lump of water between us. Bit snuzzy, you don't even have to cut it to size, hopefully. We'll find out in a minute. I'm going to assume this is the normal, like the foundation guide. Okay, that's not quite perfect, but maybe when we stick it together, we just trim the edges off. What has happened there? What do we do? Do we just push it together, you reckon? Pretty bloody good though. Stick that like that. Yeah. We probably should go in and watch the instruction video, shouldn't we? That'd be, that'd be way too bloody flash for us though. That looks pretty good. So one would assume the girl's coming here and go and we're in that one and go and next thing you know you can pull it apart and we can put it in a post pack and ship it around the world and you can have some un unhuman tampered honey. It wouldn't even get dizzy because it wouldn't even have to go in the spinner. That'd be fucking cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> little bit is you put this bit of wood back in with these cool little bicycle clips or something spring little clips spring clips you remember them when you were kids and you had to clip them on your leg well they weren't like that but they had a clip and you clip them on your leg so you wouldn't get stuck in the chain on your push bike Golly gosh was that when you wore flare pants they were big floppy plants and it wasn't very cool to have have them on and if you forgot them when you got to the schoolyard it was a bit embarrassing 
because they weren't, you know, they weren't totally trendy looking. I'm sure nowadays they've got bloody weird ass coloured ones so you look like you're cool. Because it's interesting what becomes cool. You know, I don't know whether the powers that be make shit cool or whether it's just the kids that are cool that make stuff cool. Because it's a bit like ripped jeans. I wonder if that was some poor bloke, chick, whatever, that was cool at school that couldn't afford new jeans and then she went, you know, oh, I fucking want to have a tear in my jeans because look at that, that's bloody awesome. And now they're getting, you know, tear jeans everywhere. You can buy that shit in the shop. The fucking stuff costs more than buying good ones. So I even said to my lovely daughter, who's got a pair of these cool ripped jeans, I said, I've got some of that shit in my cupboard that I've worn out. I could actually be really trendy, but she didn't agree with me because they are just worn and stuffed. So I had to throw my ripped jeans in the bin, which I thought was a bit rough. I was almost in fashion. For the first time in your life? No, I've been in fashion once before. Maybe, I think. Cool. I reckon we're about ready to rock and roll. We'll take this out to one of the beehives that we've got on the farm. Pop it in there. I'm just trying to decide because we've got the queen excluders out so they've made the nest in the middle. And really this should go under the under the super, so it should be under supering, which is a technical term for putting the new comb under the old comb. Or we might put it on the box, it's only got one lot of, like one level. And stick it in there and then they can use this as their super box. What do you reckon about that? Just as a footnote. You know how I brought that, I don't know if this episode's having the card and the drill saga in it, but I was just looking at the card and, you know, I don't know, blokes out there, whether you're sort of a bit slow on the uptake and you don't necessarily read everything that you get. And anyway, I was quite taken back and it was all very lovely, but I was just <laughs> revisiting the card over here and it's got on here, it's got on here to the bullshit bee man, hands off my drill. Very nice, she does, she does love me very much, but as I was saying, I'm re re reiterating, reiterating, as I was trying to say, I thought I was got a jet out of jail free card, but I think I've really just got to kick my ass card.